it's Vanessa, the Crafty Gemini. First I'm going to show you all what the machine comes with and how it works. We'll play around on a few little different sample pieces so you can see the different types of fabrics you can use with this machine. And then be sure to stick around till the end of the video where I'll be announcing a fabulous giveaway courtesy of our friends at Simplicity. Yeah! Now let's start with the actual product review and let me show you how this machine works. Okay, so when you pull the machine out of the box, it's you pull it out just like this in one whole piece, okay? It has some two little drawers down here which are really cute to keep the extra needles and supplies in that you need for it. And those just slide in and out. It comes with the adapter for the plug. It comes with a foot pedal similar to your sewing machine. Both of these plug up right here on the side. It's labeled so the one opening here says foot pedal and the next one it says for the DC um, adapter. Then the on and off switch is on the side here as well. You can see a light turned on down here. And I read the manual, it comes with this really cute instruction book, has some tips and tricks in here, and some actual, some project ideas as well. Towards the end, it tells you different ways to make a couple different flowers and stuff. And one thing I noticed by reading in the manual, it says that the light that comes with it never has to be replaced, so that's really cool. It has this guard here. You can see, maybe you can't see it too close right there, but I'll get a close-up shot in a second. There are 12 needles that are already come in the machine ready to go. So that's what I mean, like, once you pull it out and plug it up, you are ready to start felting right out the box. It has this guard here so you can make sure not to get your fingers too close since there are 12 needles coming down at once. You can pop this open here and if you need to remove the guard, say you're working on a project where you want to use less needles or you want to change some needles out, you would just unscrew it here, remove this, and then in the tools that come with the machine are a few Allen wrenches and there's different openings around this top part here and that's where you would unscrew or screw in new needles. So it's real simple and straightforward. I like that it has this presser foot knob here. So if you're working with bulkier fabrics, you can loosen this. And this clear part down here is the presser foot. So you can raise it up a little bit so that you can fit bulkier fabrics in there. You can tighten it if you need it to go further down, just like we would do on our sewing machine. The supplies here comes with a little pair of tweezers. It has a little brush for brushing out the lint and some Allen wrenches as well. And then... Down here, if we remove these boxes, since you can see it doesn't have like a throw plate like a sewing machine does, it's open all the way down here. So when the lint accumulates and stuff, you can just brush it out of here or take your vacuum adapter to your vacuum and just suction everything out. So it's really easy, you have access to everything in there. I really like that about it. So when you're using the felting machine, the way to control the speed is based solely on the pressure that you're applying to the foot pedal itself. You can see there's no knobs here or settings for speed like you would have on some sewing machines. So it's all based on the pressure that we're applying to the foot pedal. If you do it lightly, you can slow down, you can stop, or if you press it all the way, you can see it goes really fast. Another option that you have if you're working on smaller projects or you need more, uh, more control over how fast the needles are coming down is to use the hand wheel that we have just like you would on a sewing machine. So when you start using the felting machine, it's similar to your sewing machine where it has the presser foot lever that has to be down before you start actually felting it. So let me start with some of the different materials that we can use on the felting machine. Here I have some fleece. We all are familiar with this. It stretches, it's nice and warm, it's polyester. Here I have some felt sheets that are made from like post-consumer recycled bottles. Uh, they sell this at your local craft stores. You can buy these in these little sheets like this. It's synthetic and they're really inexpensive so they're great for little kids craft projects and smaller items. Then I have some natural wool here. They have these at local yarn and knitting stores. They will, or even at your craft stores or in fabric stores, they sell yarn as well. And then I have some wool roving. They also dye this different colors. And you can buy it in smaller packages like this or in this big bag. This one has some gorgeous colors in there. So, I know that there's probably a lot of other different fabrics and things that you can use with this, but these are the ones that I have used with or have played around with so far. Let me first play around with a couple of different pieces here so you can get an idea of how the machine actually works. So I'm going to use these two different little craft felt sheets. I'm going to make a heart. Okay, so here's my heart. I want to felt this onto this piece here. So it's super simple. So this is how it works. One thing I noticed is that putting my hand through here, I have really large hands. Putting my hand through here is a little bit 
bothersome for me just to get to the back so that I can lift up the lever, but I guess I'll just do it with this hand. If you have smaller hands, you shouldn't have a problem, but I, I notice that I have less space here than I do on my sewing machine, so it, my hand kind of hits on the bottom and at the top. So, I've turned the hand wheel here just to bring my needles to the up position. The lever here is up. I'm going to slide this under here and place it wherever you want it. And there's no pinning involved, nothing, right? I just put this on top of here. I'm going to start wherever I want. I've put the presser foot down and now you just felt away. Let me turn it on, that would help. <laughs> you can see that I can't pull the fabric and that's because the tension on the presser foot is too tight. You should be able to move this around similar to if you were doing some free motion quilting. It's kind of the same idea. So what I'm going to do is turn this lever and I can already see that it's loosening up there. Let me try it again. Now you see that I can easily move my fabric around. Okay. So I mean there's no threading. You don't have to do anything. There's nothing involved. No thread breaking. It's really simple. You just adjust this based on the thickness of the materials you're working with and then you just step on the foot pedal. And I'm just going back and forth and because I have this guard here and even a guard at the bottom it's really difficult for you to even get your fingers under there. And that's it. And I'm going to put my needles back up lift up my presser foot and you can see that my heart has now been felted on to the other piece of felt and what felting is it's basically all these needles are pushing the fibers from this top material down into this one so it's holding it in place there's no way that I'll be able to pull this apart but what it does is when you see it on the back you'll really get it it has pushed the green through the yellow felt and that is what's now holding it in place. Now let me show you how I do it with this yarn, with this wool yarn. Just back and forth motion. And you can see I'm just moving the yarn any way I want it to go so I can make zigzags, curvy lines, whatever you want. And now I'll tell you, this is only a few times that I've used this machine, so you don't have to be a professional, you don't even have to know what you're doing, really. You just go, and it's a really fun way to be creative uh, with no boundaries. There's no rules, you kind of just do whatever you want, and you guys know me, I love that kind of stuff. Alright, let's see how this looks, and that was so simple. Another thing to know is that it has this wide base here. It's not an extra attachment or an extension table like sometimes you see that you need for your sewing machine. I really like that it's nice and wide so that you can move around whatever you're working on, right? So you can see the bed is a lot wider than, than a regular sewing machine without having to add an extension table. It just comes right like this. So Simplicity also put out this Projects and Tips felting book that's made or designed exclusively to be used with this machine. So it's basically a ton of ideas for different things that you can do with this machine and what you can do them on. There's different bracelet ideas here, scarves. They've also felted on different articles of clothing. So if you had wool items that you wanted to embellish with the felting machine, this would be a great way to do it. And now a huge thanks to our friends at Simplicity for hosting this giveaway just for the Crafty Gemini viewers. One of you lucky viewers is going to receive your own 12 needle deluxe felting machine by Simplicity. You're also going to get 12 additional needles. Remember, the machine already comes with 12 right out of the box ready to use. These are an additional 12 so you can change them out when that time comes. Then some Allen wrenches to help you change out the needles. And you're also going to receive the felting projects and tips book from Simplicity. Now for the details on how you can enter the giveaway.